Hey Max, tonight is, I forgot, Monday, August 1st. First of all, I want to apologize if this video comes out slightly askew. I cannot get my camera to cooperate on the table it's on. So, there's that. That's fun. So, later this week at the rec center, I will be doing some origami stuff with kids involving paper airplanes or dinosaurs or both. Not dinosaurs in paper airplanes, but that the kids will have a choice of either. Though if they can get the dinosaurs in the paper airplanes, sure, why not? Anyways, so I'm going to try out a few of the patterns that I found and show them to you. My birds are like, what the heck is going on? No one is ever just loitering in the dining room. The first thing we're going to do is a pteranodon. It looks very menacing in this picture, which you can't see, but trust me, it does. I'll give you the website in the doobly-doo. Alright, so you're going to fold it in half twice and then fold, so you're going to do a hot dog then hamburger, which doesn't actually work as terminology with the origami paper, since it's the same size either way, but hopefully you get what I mean. So now your paper will have a big plus sign crease. Now you're going to fold one corner in to that middle point, which I cannot do in the air, but like that. Then you're going to just fold it in half this way, so you're going to see this little corner of white. Now we're going to make a fold where the fold line is from here to here. You're going to fold in on that line. So now you will have this. Well, you're going to have this, but you're going to turn it around. It'll be this. Now you're going to fold this guy down, not quite from the corner along here, but just a little bit over and make sure it's kind of at an angle, not parallel to this one. Kind of starting to come in toward the point. So you're going to just have a little bit of overfold there. Now you're going to have a little bit of a crease right here. So that crease line where it touches the bottom to this corner. Now you're going to want to fold that in. And it looks like that is that. You draw an eye, which here is a very angry eye. I don't want an angry eye. I want a happy pteranodon. So this would be like the head and the body and the wing. I think. It's it's kind of weird, but this is how it looks on the site. See? It looks like this. Here's his angry eye. Next, we're going to do a Spinosaurus. This is also a two-star rated thing. Two stars out of four stars, so not super easy, but still pretty easy. You're going to fold and unfold from the corner to corner. So, sort of the opposite of what we did last time. Your paper is going to be divided into triangles this time instead of squares. Yes, I just blinked on the word squares. Holding your paper like this, you're going to fold this bottom corner up so that this side is along this fold line. Alright, next you're going to fold up the bottom parallel to this line, but not on it. Pro a pretty good indication is that this, this is going to meet your center point. Next, you are going to fold down the top about where this point touches, again parallel to this center crease. So now it's going to look like this. Um, this side you are going to just fold in this triangle just straight so you're covering up that white space basically. Then you are going to fold this corner up along this line so it's going to just fold over that corner. Alright, now you're going to turn it over. Now you're going to fold in just about here. You're just going to fold straight over. Now you're going to have this. And now all you have to do is draw on, a, draw on a bit of a pattern, and you're good to go. There you go. 